Morning, guys. Welcome to Coffee Chat. Mm. Well, guys, I'll tell you what. Today is a lot milder than we have had in a lot of days. And I'll tell you, it's a welcome relief to all the heat and the humidity that we've been dealing with. I got a nice little breeze coming in here. And boy, I'll tell you what, it feels great. Well, guys, the article that I was reading today really is saying a lot. And this is one we want to all be paying attention to. You want to pay attention to this one. Look, we all know that the U.S. dollar as the world reserve currency has been under major, major attack. And in fact, as far as, you know, my opinion on it is this. Look, when Saudi Arabia came out there and they said that we're going to sell our oil, you know, outside of the U.S. dollar and in other currencies, including gold, to me, that was the kill shot to the U.S. petrodollar and the world reserve currency status. And I've always likened it as like, look, the, the petrodollar is dead. We just haven't had the funeral yet. Well, what's going on right now, guys, is an absolute nuclear expression of that right there. You got central banks, big time central banks going out there, and it's been reported in May, have bu been buying gold like no tomorrow and in a big way. And a lot of these central banks are ones that are lined up with these BRICS countries. Well, of course, we know that BRICS is coming out with their own central bank digital currency. And it's a currency that is backed by gold and it's designed specifically to compete on the world stage with the credit-backed U.S. dollar. This is a massive, massive, massive deal. And a lot of people are not giving it the credence that it deserves because they feel that the U.S. economy is absolutely untouchable. Guys, nothing can be further from the truth. We are seeing the cracks in this system that are being exposed. Now they're, you know, they're, they're not just cracks, they're crevices. And eventually, guys, we are going to see an amazing amount of breakup in this whole system. And I'm telling you what, what's going on around the world, polit geopolitically, of course, and economically is literally changing the, the, the power structure that we have been a part of for probably the last 150 years. And new powers are emerging, new economic powers are emerging. And don't think that this could not cause global conflict in a major way, it can, and more than likely will. It has happened every single time. Now, there have been a few transitions of that power where there hasn't been like major, you know, global conflict over it. Like for instance, when the British pound lost its world reserve currency status to the US dollar, you know, we didn't see that. But in this situation right now, we know that we're in a major conflict with a lot of these countries that are joining BRICS, of course, because you got, you know, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and all of those ones there. And of course, there, we're having some major issues with some of these countries right now. And it looks like on the horizon that not too far, and in fact, I'm going to put a clip in here that I've gotten, and this actually gives a bit of a timeline, and it's really coming in rapid. Don't sit on this information. It's important. The BRICS group is set to introduce a new currency backed by gold in contrast to the credit-backed U.S. dollar with countries lining up to join the growing initiative. The BRICS countries are planning to introduce a new trading currency which will be backed by gold. More and more countries recently expressed desire to join BRICS. The decision comes a month ahead of scheduled alliance summit in Johannesburg, South Africa. 41 countries have since shown their interest in BRICS membership and its new currency implementation. Russia's foreign ministry has stated that if African states show enthusiasm, the group's expansion may also be on a Russia-Africa summit's agenda in the end of July. As of now, the BRICS group remains comprised of Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. Former statistician general of South Africa, Pali Lahola, says the gold bank currency will facilitate the advancement of developing countries and the issue is this what can the average person do to really protect themselves from the tsunami of inflation when all these u.s dollars the demand for u.s dollars outside the united states is far far greater than it is inside absolutely to be sure and it was because of that world reserve currency status well what happens when that demand is absolutely evaporated and those dollars come flooding back well you're gonna see hyperinflation inside the united states like you cannot even fathom i mean they have been tr printing and shipping 
trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars of value outside the United States. And here's a real kicker of a statistic. There are more $100 bills in Russia than they are right here in the good old USA. That tells you lots. Now, when that money comes back into this country, they just can't burn it and cause it to be evaporated just like that. Absolutely not. I really believe that when we see the tsunami of that coming back, we're looking at hyper, hyperinflation. Guys, there are things you and I can both do to insulate ourselves from the impact of this when it comes. Look, if you can't go out there and actually obtain physical gold and silver, which is really a traditional edge, and that's why these central banks are out there doing it, then guys, you need to start thinking about other things that you would normally use on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't care if it's your shampoo or this or that or whatever, because the price of those things are gonna absolutely skyrocket. Look, you should be setting aside for yourself, you know, some food. Not, you know, like you don't have to go hog wild, but look, just start building up a pantry where you could last maybe one, two, three months off of your pantry items, because what's about to take place when it comes to this hyperinflation in my personal belief, is going to shock people like no tomorrow. Now, I was reading in another article, and this is a big telltale sign that people are genuinely struggling. We're not getting all the real goods here from the fifth estate, I'll tell you that. But anyway, this is about Google Analytics, and there was a, there was a, a report made that the searches for, hey, where is a pawn shop in my area? People looking for pawn shops has gone off the charts, literally wild. Now that tells you that people are out there looking to pawn off items, right? In order to make it, in order to, you know, they'll sell things that they maybe paid hundreds and hundreds of dollars for. They're gonna sell them for 10, 20, 50, maybe a hundred bucks and get a little bit of cash in their hands because they're hurting. That's why. And so when you think about that and you see the handwriting on the wall, it's like watching the, you know, the, the, the weather. Look, guys, if we see a big storm cloud over there and we can hear the thunder, we can see the lightning, the wind's blowing, we can hear the rain coming. Well, we know enough to get inside because, of course, the rain's on the way. And sure enough, bang, it hits. And in Texas, it's not just rain. A lot of times it's hail and, there's, you know, a lot of damage can be get done, you know. So, of course, you get in, you bring your things in and all that kind of stuff and you prepare and you protect yourself. What's coming? is a storm, a financial storm, that most of us have no idea the severity of it. But there are economists out there that do, guys, they know. These people that have been you know, putting this whole thing together, don't kid yourself. They know more than what most people or what they even suggest that they know. And why is that? They are not stupid, guys. They know you can't be printing money into the oblivion and you can't be dealing with global conflict to the degree that you are right now with other countries out there circumventing the SWIFT system that you used in the past as a major tool of punishment and sanction to get people to bend to your will. Now that's off the table and people are going to be using central bank digital currencies backed by gold and you got a number of nations signing up for this some of which used to be our allies i'm telling you this is no small potatoes this is a big deal most people are not even thinking about the consequences of what's coming prepare guys get yourselves ready as best you can the one thing I would say is if you can start getting yourself out of debt, get out of debt as fast as you can. Next thing I'd say is, look, if you can secure a little bit of your savings, you know, the purchasing power of it, not so much an investment, but just securing the purchasing power with gold and silver, go out and do a bit of that. Hey, and if, it, if you can't get there, start buying more than what you need of things that you know you're going to use because when the day comes that we see this result i'm telling you it is going to shock you like we have not seen in a major way i genuinely believe that and guys i care about you i want you to be ready and prepared for it as best you possibly can so hey this is not fear mongering this is about going out there look you don't have to be afraid when you actually prepare do you i mean we all have car insurance not most of us don't want to have to ever use it but we got it in case the you know the unthinkable really happens and you have to utilize that obviously well guys it doesn't hurt 
get a little bit of insurance under your belt there for your family and for yourself and maybe a few neighbors if you're even able to do that. That's what I would say, but don't, do not play the ostrich when it comes to the information that we're seeing coming out like this because it is going to have impacts in a big way. And anyhow, guys, I'll tell you what, I really, really hope that you got my heart in that message that I'm really just sharing that because I want you to be ready. I want you to be prepared and I care about you. And I'll tell you what, until later on today, when we have a fabulous video, I sure hope you have a great rest of your day. And until then, guys, take care.